When I first started this process in the middle 90s, the very first book I ever read was called A Celebration of Neurons. It was written by a University of Oregon education professor, and he was talking about the early neuroscience research and its relationship to teaching and learning. And one of the things he said, and literally in the first couple pages, is that what we had been doing in teaching and learning was much closer to folklore than science. And what he meant by that is we simply in the middle 90s did not have the imaging technology that was going to allow us to look inside the human brain. And I'll use a perfect example about this in my own work as a reading teacher. For a hundred years, we have believed that dyslexia is a processing problem in the visual part of the brain. Made perfect sense, right? The student looks and they see W-A-S as S-A-W. Something's wrong with how they're processing their visual information. Well, in 2009, a French neuroscientist wrote a book called Reading in the Brain and has a whole chapter in which he shows completely that we're entirely wrong. It is an auditory processing problem, not a visual processing problem. It originates in the auditory areas of the brain, not in the visual areas of the brain. So many of the things that we had been advocating to students to do to remediate these problems were wrong. They were based on a wrong assumption. The assumption was honest enough, it just came from folklore, observation, not science. And so that's where we're headed. What we're headed is, how do we begin to take the science and translate it into our classroom? So that's kind of what our goal is here today.